Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all having a good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this video. Now, depending on when I put this video out, the update on JP has gone live and the collab characters are here. So, with that, there's actually something I wanted to talk about that I thought was pretty interesting. So, if you look here, Mono finally got her, um, they call it, I like how they call it balance, but um, it's kind of a buff. She finally got her buff that she has on Global on JP. If you guys don't know what it is, basically, the buff that she got on Global was she increases her damage dealt by 50% when she attacks an enemy with each buff, which each, or which each debuff, bleeding, poison, or shock. So basically, um, for each de uh, debuff that they had, she would increase it by 50%, whereas... If it was any of these, it would just be uh, straight up 50%, right? So now, for each debuff that she has, she will increase her damage dealt by 50%. And I think that's very good because it, you know, gives her more damage, obviously. If you guys don't know which mono this is, it is the red one. So very, uh, after a long while, actually, it's been a minute since she actually got this on Global. I, I It's been like a couple months, like maybe even going on six, I believe, something around there, but yeah, it's been a minute, like a hot minute since she got this, um, quote unquote, buffed arm on global, so very, very nice, very, very nice that she got that, now, here's the second part about it, this is what I wanted to talk about, the lifesteal cards actually got buffed, now, the only one that got buffed was the single target lifesteal, because if they were to buff the AOE version, I actually think that would have been a little busted because the AOE version of it um, is, I believe, 20, 30, and 40% as well. I'll have to double check in a minute. But the single target one went up from 20 to 40, 30 to 60, and then 40 to 100%. Now, Beatrice had this, and I didn't even think about it till I read a comment on one of my videos and someone mentioned that they might buff this card, and that, that even crossed my mind when I went over it. So, they are indeed buffing it, which is nice. So, I think this card might be better in a sense that if you do have a rank 3, you will be able to heal a lot. Even rank 2, right? I, I, actually, I think all of them. Because 40% of uh, damage that you do depending on the unit can actually be very nice so let's go ahead and let's go over to the grand cross database and we will go to the skill filter and everyone who has a, a lifestyle i don't know if you can check that actually oh yeah you can okay so these are currently um beatrice will be added to this but these are currently all of the units that have lifestyle skills uh we'll check them right now so green bond has this green brawler bond has this now this isn't going to make him better, but this skill is. It's going to be a lot better because the damage doesn't change, but the amount of life still that he, um, you know, does increases. So it's actually, it actually is better. Like, I'm not even going to lie. It is a lot better because of the simple fact that if this Bond does use his Snatch, he does do pretty decent damage. Like, no lie, he does do pretty decent damage. It's just that he's kind of... You know, he's, he's obviously bad, but, um, you know, having it be at 40% at rank one and then he has 60 and then 100, I mean, it's not, it's not a bad buff to Bond who desperately needs it, like desperately needs it. So again, if you use the snatch, he actually might do pretty good damage with this card, but, uh, yeah, that might be something that a, a, a JP content creator like Nag or like Speedy or someone or someone like that could actually, you know, do. Um, even Mar like Marilly, some someone who does JP content, maybe they want to experiment with with him. You know, now that he's gonna get said buff, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, I think this is very nice. The ultimate move also increases from forty to one hundred. Now, that's big. That's actually really big because ultimates do really good damage regardless. So very very nice there. So let's look at the other units that have this because um there are a couple, and the latest one to have it is Denzel, I believe. Camilla has a single target one. No, she has an AoE. So she has an AoE. So, okay, so the AoE is 30% on both. It may maybe. Hold on, give me a second cuz it might be different. I do know um Blue Helbrum has this 
Okay, so yeah, it is 30% and 30%, which, nah, I mean, I get it's AoE, but eh, it's really not that great. In all honesty, it's not that great because most of the times, AO AoEs do less damage than single targets. Actually, probably all the time, AoEs do less damage than single targets do. But uh, yeah, stealing 30% of everyone's HP is, is I, guess, I guess you could say it's good, but again, weak multiplier... Even on rank two, rank two is weaker than a single target's uh, rank one. By the way, so keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, I, I think honestly they could have could have buffed the AOE version a little bit, but it's fine, it's fine. But yeah, Denzel, Denzel actually might benefit from this a lot because he's not that great. He still won't be that great again. This life still buff is not going to change the meta. It's not going to make all units who had this previously broken. It's just gonna give them a little bit more, um, a little bit more, you know, oof to their kit, I guess you could say. But yeah, Denzel has this, so it'll be 40, and then it'll be 60, and then 100%. So I think it's a very nice buff, actually. I think it's, you know, decently, uh, decent buff, you know, to give to units that have this. <laughs> Malascula, now Malascula has it on her ultimate, and she's basically gonna be god when it comes to lifesteal, because... She does have the highest life still in the game, I believe, being at... I think my blue Melascula on my account is at 60% life still. So, yeah, both Melasculas have the highest life still in the game, I believe, currently. Uh, again, not going to put them on the map, but this is nice, right? Blue Hendrickson, he has this now, so he'll be at 40, 60, and 100%. They're still not going to be good, but I think it's just a very nice buff in general, just to give you know the units a little bit more oof again 100 percent life still now so whatever she again she's gonna heal more than her health keep that in mind because again her life still man oh you can okay they added something to this that's nice but yeah 53 percent without costumes or anything then 100 percent <laughs> just insanity an absolute beast melascula is at recovering but uh yeah as far as that goes that's pretty much it for the lifesteal. Now, if they want to go ahead and buff the AoE version, that'll be good for this bond specifically because then, let's say he, he lifesteals 30% on rank 1, same multiplier, but then he gets like 200% on rank 2, and then he's lifestealing, I don't know, 50%, and then on rank 3, it's like, I guess you could say 280 or maybe even 300% damage, and then he's lifestealing like... 80 percent that'd be insane that would be absolutely insane but regardless um we'll see what happens i again i do think this is a very nice buff for life still you know life still skills so very nice indeed very nice indeed but that's pretty much it that's all i wanted to talk about i thought it was a nice little discussion video that we could have together um but yeah if you did enjoy you got it this far be sure to leave a like also subscribe if you're not subscribed already thank you guys so much for watching and as always i will see you all next time